Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. You know shot is a property of modern. Duff, 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 Duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Hello, this is Mr. Duff, the science buff here, getting ready for my annual courage plunge. This year, I'm joined with a good friend and fellow teacher, Mr. Little. Every year, I challenge my students to jump into some unheated H2O during the first week of March to demonstrate their courage. Mr. Little, what do you think courage is? I think it's being fearless. Yes, correct. It's doing something that frightens you. For example, jumping into some cold water. You know, in science, we use the Celsius system, Celsius temperature scale. So that H2O is currently 18 degrees Celsius. Speaking of water, Mr. Little, why are there so many fish on the bottom of the ocean? I don't know. They dropped out of school. Will you stop? Mr. Little, what runs but never walks? Water! When are we going to get the courage plunge. Okay, okay, Mr. Little, you ever thought about what's going to happen to our bodies when we jump into that water? I don't know, we're going to freeze to death? Why did I let you talk me into oh, this? Okay, wait, okay, okay, okay. Well, when we jump in, the water's going to hit our skin and hit the nerves on our in our skin, and it's going to tell our respiratory system to take a big involuntary gasp of air into our lungs. Then our veins are going to contract or get smaller, and our heart's going to pump faster in order so our circulatory system can move blood around the body. Okay, hey, Mr. Little, see this over here? This is my weather station. So these cups, that's a anemometer. It stalling. measures wind speed. What? Quit stalling. Okay, What's okay, okay. On? Mr. Little, are you ready to demonstrate your courage? Yes. Okay, go first. No, you go first. <laughs> Filming live from Navarre, Florida. Hurricane Sally just went ashore as a Category 2 in Gulf Shores, Alabama. As you can see behind me, there's major flooding, a lot of precipitation. Hopefully there's not any life, loss of life. I haven't lost any trees. Again, Mr. Duff, the science buff, reporting from a hurricane.